I'm Jim Lampley. Through the whole first half of his career, St. Petersburg, Florida's Winky Wright labored in relative obscurity. His absence of public recognition made it too easy for bigger name fighters to avoid his tricky defensive southpaw style. But eventually, Shane Mosley opened the door and Wright barged through to become one of the bigger and better names in the sport. Let's take a look at Winky Wright's greatest hits. December 1999, Wright's first high profile appearance against Fernando Vargas for a junior middleweight championship. Wright started strong, pressing the action from the opening bell. There's a hard right hand landed off the front foot by Winky Wright. Vargas began to establish his power in round four. And now Fernando begins to land three and four punches at a time. And Wright's strategy of standing close to Vargas and trading begins to look a little hollow. But the relentless Wright continued to come forward and appeared to take control of the fight. Hard left hand by Winky Wright. Wright, despite continued swelling around both eyes, knocks Vargas' mouthpiece out with a straight left hand. Vargas fans in the crowd nervous. Vargas wasn't done yet, fighting down the stretch like a champion. Body shot by Vargas, left hook lands upstairs. Double uppercut. Wright comes back with a little right hook. Vargas keeps firing. Uppercut, body shot. Busting Wright with power punches in the middle of the ring. Wright made a name for himself, but Vargas came away with the majority decision victory. March 2004, Jane Mosley challenged Wright in a junior welterweight unification fight. Mosley came in as the favorite, but it was clear early that Wright's style was too much for Sugar Shane. Good left hand by Wright inside. Mosley searching for answers to mount an offense as Wright just picks his shots. And that big left hand was as big a punch as he landed in the fight. Winky put the boxing world on notice, dominating Mosley from bell to bell. Right, hammering Mosley around the ring with rights yeah. and lefts. There have been moments in these past two rounds when Winky Wright is toying with the great Shane Mosley. Most boxing fans probably expected it would be a big night for Shane Mosley. Instead, it appears to have been a big night for his opponent, Winky Wright. Eight months later, Wright and Mosley met again. The early rounds appeared a continuation of the first fight. Wright nods and comes in with a straight left hand, then a right hook, Mosley having difficulty stopping Winky's attack upstairs. But once again in control against Mosley, Wright got careless in the middle rounds. Good left hook by Shane Mosley, double left hook by Mosley, and a hard right hand on Winky's chin. Well, Wright no. seemed determined to yeah. show Mosley that he can't hurt it. After that lapse, Wright got back to controlling the action and finished the fight strong. Mosley's face is beginning to show the damage that Wright has applied. After a competitive 12 rounds, Winky Wright emerged the majority decision winner. June 2006, Wright faced undefeated middleweight champion Jermaine Taylor. The drama was established early as the fighters traded damaging blows. Taylor lands a right hand across the top. Winky grinned a little bit as he wobbled momentarily. Left hand lands flush for right. This has been a very good round for Winky Wright. Jermaine Taylor banging away twice with the right hand. Three times, four times. The consistent back and forth action continued throughout the fight. He has hurt Wright badly with a right hand in this round. For a moment there, he was a sitting duck for Taylor's power, and Jermaine took advantage. Jermaine Taylor has already been hit with more punches in this fight than in any other fight of his career. Now Winky Wright tries to put him in jail in the corner again. I've just counted 11 unanswered punches by Wright. Now well, there's Taylor. six or seven unanswered by Taylor. After an exhilarating 12 rounds, in which neither fighter would back down, the fight was ruled a draw, and Wright was clearly unhappy with the decision. July 2007, after a dominating victory over Ike Quarte, Wright and 42-year-old light heavyweight champ Bernard Hopkins met in Las Vegas. Hopkins was beating Wright to the punch early, and a headbutting round three opened a bad cut over Winky's left eye. Feeling a sense of urgency, Wright became the aggressor. Good left hand by Wright. 
Now Wright lands a solid left hand, and Hopkins takes a look at Bird as if to say, wait a minute, how about him butting me? But Hopkins continued to apply pressure to the cut on Wright's left eye. Hard right hand by Hopkins. Good left hook by Hopkins. Those are Hopkins' two best punches in a while. The blood is really flowing now from above the left eye of Winky Wright. Hopkins is stepping on the gas noticeably. Hopkins was awarded the unanimous decision victory, handing Wright his first defeat since the Vargas fight in 1999. To see more of Winky Wright, tune in to HBO Sports.